Is the world ready for humanoid robot doctors? What about surgery? Why is the Tesla Optimus itching for a cage match? And can the largest manufacturer of service robots become a frontrunner in the humanoid robotics race? Let's find out. Leading Chinese robotics firm Unitry just unveiled its new DEX-51 dexterous robotic hand with 20 degrees of freedom. 16 of the hand's joints are powered and 4 move naturally without motors. The robot hand can be equipped with up to 94 touch sensors to simulate a sense of touch. Hangzhou-based Unitry says the hand's design improves grip reliability and adaptability. All five fingers can be replaced and maintained independently. The hand's technical specifications position it among the most advanced robotic hands entering the market. Canadian startup Sanctuary AI has developed a next-generation robotic hand with 21 degrees of freedom. The design uses miniaturized hydraulic valves, which Sanctuary says delivers superior power density compared to electrical systems. The valves have been tested to withstand 2 billion cycles without leakage or degradation. The new Tesla Optimus hand has a reported 22 degrees of freedom, which Elon Musk has said is enough to handle basically any human task. On the X social media platform, robotics expert Scott Walter said the design poses a threat to tendon-driven systems like the Tesla bots. While simulating the tendons of human hands typically allows for higher degrees of freedom, it comes at the cost of control complexity. They can also struggle with precision due to tendon elasticity and friction. According to Unitry, the DEX-5 hand integrates seamlessly with its G1 and H1 humanoid robots. The Unitry G1 has exploded in popularity among researchers and developers thanks to its relatively low starting price of $16,000. The 132cm robot is a scaled-down version of the full-sized H1. Researchers recently evaluated the ability of the G1 robot to perform medical procedures through remote control. The team from UC San Diego's Advanced Robotics and Controls Lab and School of Medicine said the G1 showed potential despite current limitations. They used a Unitree G1 integrated within Gen 4 robotic hand from Inspire Hands. They controlled the robot via teleoperation to grasp and manipulate a variety of medical tools. The researchers used pre-configured grasp poses tailored for specific tools like stethoscopes, scalpels, syringes, and surgical clamps. While the G1 did a solid job grasping and positioning tools, it struggled with delicate, high-skill procedures. Upgrading to a more advanced hand could help close the gap, but the G1 is not a threat to robots like the Da Vinci surgical system at this point. The system, developed by California-based Intuitive Surgical, is considered the gold standard in robotic surgery today, dominating the market by volume, clinical trust, and global footprint. Though the technology paved the way for the eventual adoption of humanoid robots in medical settings, they'd still face a steep path. To be viable as a surgical robot, the G1 or any other humanoid would need to demonstrate surgical precision, offer sterile and controllable tools, undergo clinical trials, secure FDA approval, and then fit into existing hospital workflows. Even if the technology was fully functional today, a realistic timeline for actual hospital use would still be 7 to 10 years away. It's a long road, but thanks to Da Vinci, it's no longer unimaginable. Hi X, can I have a glass of whiskey and a can of Coke? Sure, would you like regular or Coke Zero? Coke Zero, please. Shanghai-based Keenan Robotics just unveiled its first humanoid robot tailored for the service sector. The wheeled X-Man R1 humanoid is seen here acting as a bartender, collaborating with a fleet of Keenan's AI-powered robots. The stylized video also shows the X-Man teaming up with fellow autonomous robots at a hotel. Keenan Robotics has a serious advantage going to market thanks to its established presence across industries including catering, healthcare, hospitality, and logistics. 
The company has shipped over 100,000 service robots globally, securing a 45% share in the catering delivery export market. Models from Kenan's Dynabot series like the T9 and T10 are particularly prominent in the catering industry. The ButlerBot W3 is also gaining popularity for hotel services with its multi-floor delivery capabilities. According to Keenan, the X-Men R1 offers complex task understanding and long horizon planning with its advanced artificial intelligence and broad language model. The robot detects and interacts with objects using its AI vision system. Keenan's new robot is the latest humanoid to enter the commercial service robot market. According to Frost and Sullivan, the sector is expected to reach nearly $1.5 billion globally by 2030 with a compound annual growth rate exceeding 20%. The X-Man's bartending capabilities positions it as a direct competitor to Atom by Rich Tech Robotics. The Las Vegas-based company's AI-powered humanoid robot is gaining traction for beverage service roles. RichTech has begun installing its robotic beverage systems at Ghost Kitchen's America locations within Walmart stores. The company plans to deploy Atom humanoids in more than 250 stores. Each location is projected to generate between $700,000 and $2 million in annual revenue. RichTech has also started piloting its MedBots in Orlando, Florida. The elevator-enabled delivery robots provide uninterrupted medication delivery. In China, Keenan faces stiffening competition from Pudu Robotics, which just introduced its third humanoid offering. The Shenzhen-based firm calls the FlashBot arm a semi-humanoid embodied AI service robot for enhancing automation at places like hotels, office buildings, restaurants, retail shops, and healthcare facilities. The FlashBot features two robotic arms with seven degrees of freedom that are compatible with Pudu's dexterous hands. The DH-11 hands, which feature 11 degrees of freedom, are also compatible with Pudu's other humanoids, the Wheeled D7 and Bipedal D9. Like Keenan Robotics, Pudu is emphasizing the robot's ability to collaborate with its other autonomous offerings. While Pudu Robotics is smaller than Keenan, it's gaining market share fast with over 90,000 units shipped globally. Founded in 2016, Pudu has already captured an estimated 23% of the global commercial service robotics market. The company has expanded its operations with a new headquarters in Silicon Valley and a fulfillment center in New Jersey. Meanwhile, the Tesla Optimus is apparently feeling cocky thanks to its newly improved walking gait. After Tesla shared this new footage of the robot walking at its Gigafactory, Elon Musk suggested that Optimus should take Rock'em Sock'em to a whole new level, referring to the classic kids game. The robot's official X account posted that it should be allowed to participate in a cage match against other Tesla bots or other robots. This would be a step toward a world like the future the 2011 movie Real Steel envisions. In the Sean Levy film, robotic boxers replace humans in the ring. They engage in gladiator-style boxing matches, teleoperated by humans. There's real-life precedent for robotic boxing matches. In 2014, Megabots was founded in California with the goal of creating giant robots and piloted mechas to fight for entertainment's sake. In a 2017 demonstration, Megabots faced off against Japan's Suidobashi Heavy Industry in what was called the world's first giant robot duel. Megabots won that battle, but the company filed for bankruptcy in 2017 and sold the giant battle bot, Eagle Prime, on eBay for just under $30,000. According to Optimus engineer Milan Kovac, the improved walking gait was achieved with reinforcement learning in a simulated environment. That's the same method used by other perceived leaders in humanoid robotics who showcase human-like walking capabilities including figure AI, Unitree Robotics, Engine AI, and Magic Lab. Musk recently updated shareholders on the progress it's making bringing the Optimus humanoid robot to market, seeking to calm nerves amid controversy. For more on that, check the related video.